What's up everyone, my name's Joe and welcome back to Film Focused. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my first impressions of the Mamiya RB67. This is a medium format SLR camera that shoots 6x7 negatives on 120 or 220 rolls of film. It's a completely modular system, which means everything is interchangeable. You can find these cameras used online, just totally complete, but you can also build it build it from the ground up, whether you're just buying a camera body or a film back, viewfinder, lens, you can find all of it online. Um, this camera is actually not mine, it's my girlfriend's, so thank you Lizzie uh, for letting me borrow it. But ultimately we haven't used this camera in about two years, so I wanted to take it out and just put a test roll through it and make sure that everything is functioning properly before I use this on any serious shoots or anything that I might be getting paid for. Um, so. Uh, this camera has the 90 millimeter f3.8 lens and the waist level viewfinder. Um, so before we get into it, let's take a look at some of the images I shot and then we'll talk more about the camera. All right, I hope you guys like those images. Now let's talk about the camera a little bit more. Like I mentioned earlier, this has a 90 millimeter lens and the waist level viewfinder. So I'm mainly gonna be making comparisons from this camera to my Pentax 672, which is my go-to six by seven camera. Um, the main difference between this and that camera is the waist level viewfinder. Um, on the Pentax, I have a regular prism finder, so it functions just like your everyday SLR. Um, it's a bit more streamlined, and I find those cameras to be a little bit easier to use, although I would think most photographers would agree it's easier to get pinpoint and accurate focus with a waist level viewfinder, but that's just my opinion. Um, so let's talk about the good things first and then the not so good things uh, second. The things I really like about this camera, um, the waist level viewfinder is actually a nice touch. I haven't shot with it in a while. Um, so getting used to uh, your left and your rights being inverted uh, takes a little bit of getting used to, but ultimately it's great being able to see 100% of what you're shooting um, through the viewfinder. Um, and keeping it lower is a little bit easier on the arms than it is lifting a camera all the way up to your eye to be shooting all the time. Um, because both this camera and that camera are very, very heavy. Um, another really nice thing about this camera is the way that it focuses. It actually uses um, a bellows system. So you can see here, as I'm focusing in and out, you can see the camera uh, is actually moving the lens further away from the body. So this allows you to get really close to a subject and focus, really almost get macro-like quality images with just your standard lenses. Um, that's a really nice function on the Pentax 6.7. You have to use extension tubes, which means you have to take the lens off and then put the extension tube on and then put the lens back on. So that can be a, a convoluted process. Um, this simplifies that. Another thing that I really like about this camera is it has this Pro S locking back that actually articulates. So. If you can see here, you can see there's a little rectangle that's uh, horizontal, so that's showing you that it's a landscape orientation. I can actually twist 
the film back and I'm now shooting in portrait mode without having to turn this camera over because if I had a fixed back on here with the waist level viewfinder, I'd be like, you know, looking in from the side, which would be really, really annoying. So this makes that whole process a lot simpler. Um, you don't have to change anything in the way that you're shooting. You just have to, oops, twist the back. That's it. Um, and uh, lastly, another thing I really like about this camera um, is it automatically, just through having the waist level viewfinder, it adjusts your perspective and your vantage point on a majority of the photographs that you're taking. Because nine times out of 10, if you're walking around and shooting just like I was, you're usually shooting from your height. So for me, it would be six foot. Um, but this, this viewfinder, it kind of forces you to adjust the way that you're looking at a scene um, and you're naturally hunched over a little bit more and a little bit lower to the ground, uh, which can create some really cool um, compositions um, and, and some really nice exposures. So let's get on to the things that I don't like so much about this camera. At, even though I did say that I like shooting with a waist level viewfinder, for me, it takes longer to actually compose my image because I have to think more about which way I'm moving the camera and how it's going to look um, after the image is actually on the film and presented to me, um, you know, right side up or left and right uh, are adjusted properly. So that's one of the negatives. Um, another downside would be the actual size and weight of this camera. It is heavy. So you need to have a good neck strap or a good tripod and um, you definitely don't want to take this camera out when you're tired because it's going to wear you out. Um, and uh, actually one of the downsides as well to this camera comes from the way that this camera focuses. On this side here, you can see these kind of colored lines. And this is just showing you the exposure compensation that you have to take into account when you are focusing in on something that's closer up because you're actually shifting the lens further away from the body, you are losing the intensity of light that's coming through the lens and then hitting the film in the back. Um, so that's just something to take into account. I worked around that by just overexposing my film so I wouldn't have to think about doing any uh, correction of exposure. So even if I did underexpose by a full stop, it would still be exposed at 400 rather than 200. And then lastly, this camera actually has a dual stroke function to basically advance the film. So you have to advance the film and the film back, and it's not gonna allow me to do this because the camera's closed, but then you also have to recock the shutter inside the camera. It wasn't an issue for me, I never forgot to do that, but if you're moving quickly and you're used to a single stroke mechanism, that can kind of get in your way um, and possibly interrupt um, you know, the flow of your photo shoot. Oh, one more thing that I actually really like about this camera. Um, oh, I think I mentioned that was the articulating back. I think that's really, really cool. That's, uh, an awesome feature on a camera that I wouldn't have thought to engineer. Um, or at least I wouldn't have known how to engineer it. So props to the people over at Mamiya to figure that one out. That's really, really cool. Um, so I guess the last question is, will I use this camera in the future? And my answer is absolutely. It's not going to replace my Pentax 6.7 and it's not going to stop me from using that camera if I'm just wanting to get one camera and one roll of film and go out and shoot, I'm probably going to pick the Pentax 6.7. However, if I'm going to be shooting a lot of work or a lot of images rather, where I'm going to be very close to my subject and I'm going to need that ability to, close, to focus closely on something, I'm going to take the RB67. Um, that's really, that's truly the thing, the single thing that really stood out to me um, with this camera is its ability to get extremely close to something and do really nice, almost macro-like work, all the while still being able to shoot really good landscape or just street stuff um, as well. So really versatile camera. I like it a lot. Um, like I said, it's probably not going to replace my Pentax, but I'm definitely going to keep it and use it a lot in the future. I can, uh, I can see myself using it a lot. So with all that being said and done, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any comments or questions you might have in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to everyone that I can. 
Uh, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share the video while you're at it. Thank you so much for all the support and your patience. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, happy shooting. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.